Hi, into the D1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Down Star Seat family, y'all. I hope you all are having an amazing, blessed day. Let's get into this thing. If you want to win a mini reading, all you have to do is just subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like her recent video, and drop me a comment. That enters you guys to win. So let's see here. We have, it says, this is not just a physical connection for me, it's spiritual, okay? So it's not about the way you throw it back, put it down, okay? That that could be part of it here, but somebody feels like it's a lot more. So this is someone that you have a soul connection with, right? This could definitely be somebody, um, you know, a spiritual connection. Normally, you're dealing with someone that is open to having spiritual conversations, right? This is somebody that could pray. This is somebody that could meditate. Um, this is somebody that is, um, it's not a surface le uh, level connection. And I feel like somebody else has been dealing with a surface level connection. And that has made them appreciate like the different conversations, um, that they've had with you, right? So maybe somebody is also in love with your mind, right? It's not just about um, appearance. And then we have, I know I met you for a reason and I will always have a thing for you. So somebody over here, yeah, it says, I realized too late that you were heaven sent. Someone had their vision clouded, okay? For some of you, others could have clouded their vision. They could have been clouded by lust, okay? Maybe they went in another direction. Um, for some of you, actual distance, Okay, could have been an obstacle. That's for somebody. What is this? It says, you're not just the moment. You're someone who's embedded in my life forever here. It's like, yes. It, it's like somebody realizing the importance of you in their life, realizing um, the value that you add to their life, and also realizing that you're not someone that is easily to forget. So, you know, a lot of times people learn that through going through a complete nightmare situation with somebody else. Or even if it's not a nightmare situation, it's just the fact that they go through a situation with someone where they're like, oh, okay, you know, um, you know, they could be vibing with the person, but there's still something missing. So somebody is realizing that their connection with you is a lot different. What else? <sighs> This card always comes out for y'all. It says, I know you miss me. <laughs> well, they know that they know that they feel that they know that you miss them. So even if you're not talking or even if, you know, um, some of you guys could be talking or not as much, whatever the situation is, it's like this person, uh, they feel assured that you care about them. It says, I feel so empty without you. Yeah, somebody is definitely going through it here. I feel like this person is not showing it, Okay. I am picking up a lot of pride and ego for some of you with whoever you're dealing with. We have, I've been focusing on work to keep you off my mind. Yeah, somebody is trying to stay busy here. But even when they're working, they're thinking about you guys. Or if it's not just, you know, like a regular job, you know, whatever it is that they're doing throughout the day, they're getting a lot of reminders when it comes to you. Okay, yeah, we done broke the deck on grass ain't greener here. So I feel like, you know, a grass ain't greener is pretty explanatory, right? I mean, somebody thought something was going to be shiny. They thought it was going to be new. They thought it was going to be, um, you know, maybe it was sexy. Maybe it was fun. You know, maybe it was, um, or for others of you, maybe it wasn't even all that. Maybe somebody went back to something that they already knew, right? And even if they were completely complacent and bored in that situation, they felt they had an obligation to stay in it. Whatever it is, whatever somebody went towards, they're realizing that it's not you, okay? The grass isn't greener. Anywhere else is greener where you water it, right? So this could have been somebody that, you know, started becoming inconsistent with their actions, you know, the effort that they were putting into you, you know, became put somewhere else. So you noticed a shift in energy here. And now this person, I feel like they're realizing that that's what's going on with whoever else that they were dealing with. Yeah, we have, I regret choosing her over you or I regret choosing him over you. That's what it is. 
somebody really thought that this this third party was going to be something for some of you maybe it was a rebound maybe it was just the fact that somebody has a problem uh, for some of you someone could have a problem with with lust here okay for others of you it's like so much has happened within a connection maybe somebody is wondering whether or not it can be repaired i don't know we have past energy here it could be new energy you take it as it resonates here but someone has definitely been learning a lot of lessons through the people that they've been dealing with <clears throat> some of you guys are on a break from this person with i need time and space to heal from my past here and then we have sleepless nights so somebody's sleep pattern could definitely be impacted what's going on <clears throat> We have, I've always felt that you were too good for me here. So someone has, you know, someone has different insecurities for sure. Everyone has insecurities. Um, but this could have also been somebody that was trying to break, that could have been trying to break you down because of their own insecurities. So, for instance, if they weren't doing well financially, then maybe they were trying to, you know, attack what it is that you do for work or, um, you know, try to distract you and get you, you know, unbalanced so that you could not focus here. It literally is like a negative entity attached to a person when it comes to that type of energy. Tell me more. We have, I know you're entertaining other guys. Or, yeah, see, I feel like somebody has trust issues. Maybe some whoever they were dealing with before them, okay? Maybe they were cheated on. Or maybe this person cheated on that person, but they still felt like that other person shouldn't have stepped out. <laughs> make that make sense. I don't know what somebody was doing. Maybe they were in some type of open relationship or open marriage where people were just messing around and doing the most. That's not for all you guys. What I see here is that it's like someone's trying to distract themselves with something else because they feel like you have somebody else in the picture or they feel, even if you don't, it's like someone is worried, some, especially with the, I'm, it's, it's like exposure. So some of you guys, they feel like there's too many eyes on you and it makes this person nervous because this is the type of person for a lot of you where um, they feel like if there's a lot of eyes on you, there's a lot of opportunities for you to be pulled into another direction here. Okay, so there's also that. I do feel like somebody's been thinking long and hard when it comes to y'all here. So, I mean, whether they're wanting to take things to the next level to that extent or uh, this is just them realizing that they they really don't want to lose you or they really don't want you out of their life here. Yeah, we have over here it says, can we start over here? So somebody definitely wants to start over. Somebody's definitely very jealous about you possibly dealing with other people or being in a whole nother situation, whatever it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah. So I feel like someone here could have a habit where uh, when there's arguments or disagreements, it's like the first thing that they do is they go... Uh, fly out there to start hooking up with other people and I feel like that's their that's a huge mistake <laughs> okay um, on their part because you know number one they're putting their body at risk number two you know they're out there playing with other people's emotions when they're really just you know still thinking about you and then not only that um, it's just lower vibrational energy right people sleeping around and doing the most because they're spreading their energy then then they're not protecting their vessel here so there could be like a difference in energies right maybe somebody is more conservative with their energy and then somebody else could be dealing with someone um you know that'd be out there doing the most so take it as it as it resonates we have married here <sighs> what about married somebody could want to get married 
somebody could have gotten married. Somebody is married. We have my world here. Tell me more. We have off and on, hot and cold, detached, ghosted, in reverse. This is somebody that wants y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. Now they're like, you know, in that whole, uh, you mean the world to me. I swear the only thing that matters, matters is you or whatever the lyrics are here. <laughs> There's somebody over here talking about BB at the altar. <laughs> what the hell? Somebody is thinking real long and hard about, um about a commitment with y'all. That's what I'm seeing, okay? I don't know. Maybe somebody felt like that wasn't something that they wanted to do again. Yeah, with toxic people, addictions, bad advice, wrong crowd in reverse here. Somebody feels like they let others trick they let others trick them out of their blessing. You know? I feel like the, your, their blessing was you, the collective, right? But whoever they were spending time with or whoever they were hooking up with. Uh-uh. Was a mistake. That's like the devil energy in reverse here. So somebody is realizing that, um, that that's not the way to go here. We have responsibilities because I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs here. For some of you, someone could have even been running away from responsibilities here. Or somebody is it or somebody's wanting to come back around because they're letting go of um I don't know, just different lower vibrational people, right? It could have just been people that um Maybe it was someone that somebody was messing with a lot, right? Intimately. Or maybe it was just, you know, someone that somebody would drink with a lot quite often or, you know, go out different places with or just, um, but it wasn't really in alignment with where they were meant to, to go or meant to head, right? So somebody could have been cut, could be cutting off Karmisha or Kwan, right? <laughs> Or breaking up with whoever they in a, in some type of commitment or relationship or, or or connection with, and now somebody's like, okay, I need to come back around. I need to handle my responsibilities here. Okay, tell me more. For some of you guys with married in my world, with that being the world card, somebody could in fact be getting a divorce, or somebody could be divorced up in the mix. Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective. Tell me more. Oh, shit. Not mistake. <laughs> it says, I wish I could right my wrongs. Y'all, do y'all feel like it was a mistake to marry somebody? What the hell is going on here? I ain't never seen that combination come out here. I did see the trap card come out. Maybe someone felt like somebody was trying to trap them in some type of marriage here. Or somebody felt trapped within some type of marriage or, con or, or connection because of who they were dealing with. Some of y'all could find out that an ex of y'all's like went and got married and that shit was a mistake. It was a trap. <laughs> oh, go okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. Whoa. All on my chest though. Yeah, we got guidance. It says faith, healing, intuition, dreams here. I do also see this as somebody, you know, trying to get gain clarity, gain insight in the the mistakes that they've made in their previous relationships. So it is like somebody wants to grow. There definitely is that energy here. Yeah, because somebody definitely is fucked up over y'all here. That's why they want y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. Or they want to bring that ass back to you. So take it as it resonates here. Okay? Because, yeah, we have a love message right here. Maybe somebody was going through something. Maybe someone had some secret addictions that people didn't know about. Or maybe someone had like a secret addiction with a third party that they were dealing with. Whatever the hell that weird, twisted addiction was. For some of you, it was weird and twisted. Okay, I don't know why I'm hearing that. For others of you, um, it was the fact that maybe, you know, they both were on a similar substance, right? Whatever it is. 
I feel like somebody is also regretting the fact that they were out there just, I mean, just kind of hooking up whatever. Yeah, because somebody feels like, you know, you're turning your back because you feel like, um, you know, they made a mistake in who it is that they chose or who they decided to partner together with or how they had treated you. Yeah, and now we have Chaser. It says, I don't want to chase anymore. So somebody is, somebody mad that y'all not chasing them. That's what I'm seeing here. Or somebody could have expected you to chase them. This could be somebody that is, is used to being strategic and playing different people. And <clears throat> they get some type of thrill off people um, fighting over their energy. For some of you guys, maybe you and this person 1555 on the timer. Okay, 555. Five, five changes um you both could have you know that star energy or a light about you so you both could attract different people but for some of you guys you both attract people for different reasons right so there could have even been some type of jealousy or some type of um underlying competitive vibe with somebody here which is really weird because I feel like, you know, collective, you guys are, you know, I feel like even if you have a big personality, I feel like you're very humble to the point where, you know, you're not going to really just be throwing, you know, uh, your accolades around, right? Or your, or how, or your different successes around, or if anything, it's like you guys are the type to gas people up, right? You're the type to motivate them, to, to encourage them to do better. You guys are the type of people that, um, that a lot of people meet when they're going through hard times in life, when they're going through towers in life. Because you guys have that star energy. It's like you come in after the tower and normally you help to clear things up. But I feel like somebody took advantage of that. Because they were in some type of chaotic, unhappy storm, environment, lifestyle, um, you know, series of unfortunate events mad at the world like all types of different things that somebody was going through they brought that crap to y'all and i don't really feel like this was necessarily somebody's intention because i feel like somebody's intention was to connect with you whether this is a past or a new energy but i feel like what's happening here is somebody is realizing that um they can't blame everything on the other person that both people are, you know, have created faults within a situation if there was a disagreement. And someone is also realizing that there's things that they need to change or things that they need to drop so that they can better handle their responsibilities. Or that so that or they or so that they can be more balanced in general here. I do feel like somebody was very secretive and because they were very secretive, they created a lot of negative karma for themselves because they were not transparent. So somebody is also intimidated by how intuitive you guys are because they feel like you can see through them. Okay, Nicki Minaj, you see right through me. They feel like you, you already knew. For some of you guys, it's like you could already known somebody, you know, was, I mean, you knew what you knew, right? It is what it is. It can, it can, it's going to vary for different people. So tell me about this. Ooh, wow. I was about to say, tell me about this love message. And then the thinking card flew out. It says, I'm thinking about you at this moment. Thoughts of you never leave my mind, no matter where I go. The songs I hear remind me of you, and it makes me more vulnerable and think about you even more. Somebody doesn't want to feel vulnerable with how much they think about you here. Yeah, we got daydreams. So somebody daydreaming, they're thinking about you here. This could be somebody trying to hide how messed up they are over you. Um, so I don't know if somebody is going to message or not. I feel like they're thinking about it or they're thinking about previous messages. Take it as it resonates here. Yeah, and there you guys are. It's like you guys are an inspiration here. It says, there's no one else who inspires me the way that you do. I'm so proud of you, your achievements and your gifts. Your love really gives me strength and courage to strive for more out of life. 
for some of you guys you were dealing with um the type of energy where they um they could get bored easily so it's almost as if some of you could have been dealing with someone that wanted to like take your energy and then run okay so it's like they could be going through something in regards to that because you know you just i mean you just don't you don't treat people like that i mean it's inevitable right but um some sometimes we treat people certain ways and we don't mean to but i feel like whatever that energy was they had a choice and they they chose to um make excuses and justify their behavior whatever that behavior was it could be as simple as um you like for instance it could be as simple as somebody you know being married right and not telling you that they're married And then you build a connection with them and then all of a sudden you're dealing with somebody that's married and that's not what you planned on doing. But then there's a situation of is that person going to, is that person actually getting a divorce or planning on staying in that marriage? Right? So it could also be the energy of somebody flipping it around on you like, oh, well, you knew that I was married. Like you knew that I was not going to... Um, you know, let go of my responsibilities. Um, or it could also be the energy of, okay, yeah, I'm married, but you know, I'm doing my own thing and the other person's doing their own thing. It's like somebody wanted to get you guys wrapped up in some type of weird situation shit. Like, that's what I'm getting. They wanted you to be okay with being in some type of weird, uh, weird scenario here. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles reversed and we got the Lover's card here. It's like somebody is bringing negative judgment on the people that are around them. Because of who they're partnering together with. That's what I'm saying. Someone needs to pick better people that someone needs to invest in the right connections because the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that's everything falling apart. And a lot of you with this lover's card, it's, it was over lust. It was over lust. So it's almost as if somebody missed their Ten of Pentacles in the upright all because they they swore up and down that they were going to uh, partner together in another situation. For some of you guys, this is a divorce here. For others of you, this is somebody that comes in as a lover, okay? And they take everything that somebody got. Mm. Yep. <laughs> with that ace of wand, with that wand, man. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Y'all... I don't got time. It's always the smallest ones with the biggest egos. Better not be. Let's not play games with it today, okay? Y'all are the star. Listen. <laughs> Someone could be moving as well. Like, there's different things going on. Someone could be moving. Somebody could be getting a divorce. Somebody could be having family issues here. Somebody wants to come together with you with the star card. Someone definitely wants to heal things with you. Somebody could feel like you're out of reach, okay? Um... Uh, and so they've been out here dealing with God knows who. For some of you trying to flaunt it in your face to make you feel a certain way. With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are focused on your work. You're focused on your abundance. Um, I do feel like some of you guys could be working on a connection or that's coming in for you here. Or somebody wants to come back and work on something with y'all. They see you guys as solid, abundant husband or wife material. Like they see you as somebody they can plant roots with. That's what I'm seeing. And maybe that was not necessarily what somebody was ready for. Or for others of you, they already, they should, they like already were in a contract with somebody else or with you. And they should have been ready for that, but they weren't, right? And that's okay. You know, people learn as they go. Yeah, we, I tell you that damn base of lies, baby. This is like, some of y'all, it's like, somebody could be divorced, man, and they wild. It's like, they are they ready to wild? Like, they just like, listen. <laughs> I don't got time. We got somebody's in for here. This is boss energy. Somebody's not playing with y'all. 
whoever this energy is, they are not playing with you. This is some type of actions that somebody is trying to take here. Okay? And they're removing all types of obstacles out the way, or that's something that they need to if they're going to be sitting over here tripping over y'all like this. <laughs> Tell me more. Oh, damn. Not the eight of swords. Death and the hangman. Somebody really was trying to do the most to a star energy. Somebody wanted you guys overthinking within your mind. They were trying to end something for you here. They wanted you stuck and stagnant. Okay, for some of you, this could have been someone within your family or this was somebody that you were married to. That was being an op? Or somebody that, yeah, this is crazy. Damn. Tell me more. We got the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords here. Somebody is really being haunted about how they treated y'all in the past. Or they can't let go of what they had with you in the past. Look at this. We got the Emperor and the Empress out here on the board. And somebody was trying to send a whole lot of drama in between you being with this spiritual in this spiritual connection that was of a high, that's of a higher vibration like that's ridiculous. Well, overall energy is Empress. Somebody could be pregnant. Congratulations. There's an energy of fertility here, growth and expansion. So put me some hearts down below. Put me some money bags down below as well. What else? Just know they destroyed themselves trying to destroy you because they were, a lot of you being deceptive. It says, peace, blessings, and manifest with every lesson learned. Love you guys. Namaste.